Ah, uh, little vino, cap off the day. A little glass of wine. Nice, it's nice. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, YouTube, ne YouTube needs to know about your adventure today and what happened. Um, and I think this is applicable in um, good real life experience on Instacart. Have you heard of Instacart? So what happened today? Today I tried Instacart, the app where they deliver groceries to your home because my friend had a $10 off code and we were just laying low today. We needed groceries, so I thought I'd give it a try. Plus with your first order, delivery fee is waived. So I go on and they had stores like Costco, King Supers, um, Natural Grocers, Petco. So I have been craving Chantilly cake from Whole Foods. Nice. So I went, I was basically bopping between Whole Foods and Costco and getting all my stuff that I wanted. And while I was bouncing back and forth, it never said like, oh, if you order from two stores, it's a $5.99 delivery charge from each store. It was just like, look at all the stores we have. Order from any of them. Yeah. And so I placed my order. Because it was my first order, I was supposed to have free shipping. And I did it all. I got the promo code from my friend, but there was a $5.99 shipping charge. And I was like, no, no, no. Then there was a 10% service charge. And there was some type of like arrow or asterisk. But I also was like, what is this? A service charge and a delivery charge and you'll tip. That's crazy. Is, yeah. And, after all this and the groceries are being, you know, picked and brought to my home, amazing, I start researching and apparently the service charge, like, doesn't go to the driver at all. Only, like, a small portion of it, like, maybe 10% goes to the actual shopper and then 90% of that goes to Instacart. For it. Overall, I don't think it was worth it. And another reason why I won't do it again is because we always do Trader Joe's. We do Trader Joe's and Costco, but Costco, like, once a month and yeah. Trader Joe's every week. And you just can't beat... I know Joe's Trader Joe's, the prices, their products, and like I know what we get and where we live there, and I can get so much for 85 bucks a week there. So I don't know. Did I do a good job? <laughs> Best negotiator in the world. Oh. Cha-ching! You need a negotiator. You talk to true love. And on that note, can we just say thanks be to God that we live in America and are very wealthy, privileged folks that we, our kids were sitting here complaining about dinner, and Seth and I were remembering. Seth's been to Haiti and served there and I've heard stories from him and other friends and just like no no children you are so we are so grateful like Chantilly cake from Whole Foods was delivered to my door today so hello to nothing to complain about life is amazing and we thank you <laughs> nobody's happy because everything is amazing right now and nobody's happy As the good unk likes to say, no time like the present. No time like the present. Coat number two. to make up a rule for you all. A rule to keep straight by be in time and not late by, and even meditate by. A rule for big children and small, I've made up these rhymes rather feeble sometimes, but better than no rhymes at all.
Good night, good night, construction site. Sleep with the angels, rise with the saints.